Okay, so we're gonna start off with our warm-up routine for our steeplechasers. Um, our first warm-up will be the leg swings. Our athlete Yasinia will be our demonstrator. She will start off with a side to side and then switch from front to front on both legs. This is just a little warm up, a little uh, blood flowing, open up the hips a little bit. Okay, so next will be walkovers. Yasinia will have her lead leg go over the hurdle and then follow through with her trail leg and then go directly over to the next hurdle. After you do it frontwards, we'll do it backwards. Just get a full range of motion on both of your hips. So our next drill here will be some over-unders. This is just another routine to help open up the hips, get them loosened up before we get into the hurl routine. Open up the hips, get them loosened up before we get into the hurl routine. <laughs> For all these routines, we'll work on both sides, go each direction. So our next drill here will be some rollovers. This is where this is one that will be done on the ground. This works on your hurdle um, form, and Yasinia will demonstrate on how it's done. For this drill, the leg that you pull over as that, you will want to have as your lead leg for your hurdle form. Okay, so our next drill, oh. So our next drill here will be some high picks. This just helps uh, you get used to bringing your leg up for when you're about ready to go over the barrier. So this will be another situation where you go down and back. Another alternate form of this will be high knees. So next we'll go more into our dynamic warm-up, or it's kind of our standard uh, warm-up. Our first one will be the high knee skips, also known as A skips. As you see, it will demonstrate, right? Key focus here is to have a high knee and also have dorsal flexion on your toes. So directly after that, we'll go into the high knee extensions, also known as B skip. Exact same thing, except she'll extend her leg when she brings it up. Well, our next. Uh, drill we'll be doing here is sustaining trail leg width. As you can see here in the Cena, she has her lead leg in front of the hurdle a little bit. And the main focus here is that trail leg, bringing it up over, having the toe up, that way it doesn't catch on the hurdle.
she has her lead leg in front of the hurdle a little bit. And the main focus here is that trail leg, bringing it up over, having the toe up, that way it doesn't catch on the hurdle. So the next one will be the walking trail leg whip. This will be the same drill, except you're walking up the assembly, running up to it. As you see me is showing here, this is where you really want to focus on your arms. Also, you want to have your leg leg just in front of the hurdle to simulate your leg leg jumping over the hurdle. So the next drill here is the walking lead leg extension. Yesenia will walk up to the hurdle and then lift up her lead leg and push off against the wall. Here she's focused on bringing her leg up over the hurdle and also focusing on her arms to have good form. So our next drill here will be more of a uh, continuous motion. It's the lead leg hurdle jumps. Here she's going to be focused on just uh, her lead leg. We have some wickets here that are a little bit shorter than the hurdles. Um, if you're not comfortable going over the wickets at first, you can go off to the side. Here she'll go off in a slow motion and just focus on bringing the lead leg up and focus on her upper body and her form. Okay, so next will be the alternate leg hurdle drill. Here we have a bunch of the small hurdles set up. Yasinia will jump over one uh, and she'll alternate each leg. She'll have about three steps between each hurdle. Beginning to start off with, you just want to focus on alternating them, uh, getting that continuous rhythm of not having to stutter and going over each different leg. As you get better and more experienced with it, then you'll start focusing more on your upper body and your hurdle lean form. Perfect. Yay! Okay, so as you get better with that drill and get used to that rhythm, you want to start focusing on your trail leg and bringing that dip, having those hips being opened up. Okay. So as you get more comfortable with the smaller hurdles, you'll start going over the bigger hurdles. But before you quite go over the big hurdles, uh, you want to go over on the side of it just to get a feel for what you're going to be expecting um, when you go over the, the actual hurdle. So for when you're on these larger hurdles, you're going to want to have a more of a longer, faster running start just because you're going to need more, mo more momentum when you go over the hurdle. So next will be the lead leg, trail leg walks. For this drill, we'll have about a set of four hurdles set up. Um, they're gonna be alternated about a foot apart from each other. And here, what the goal is, is she'll walk through all these hurdles. She'll walk over the lead leg, or the lead hurdle with her lead leg, and then trail with this, the second hurdle. And this will be to simulate the continuous motion of a steeplechase race. 